Dear my Barracoon, Please hide the bug in your pocket. It picks up even a low voice, so you can use it to get in touch with me. By using the earphone, you can hear me in return. There's also a spray for self-protection. It sprays as far as one meter. Make sure you aim for the face. This must be the spray. I guess it's safe to try it here. I held down the button and gas sprayed out from the nozzle. Compared to Rinna's hatchet, this required some caution, but it was small enough to fit inside of my hand. It was reassuring that I could hide it so easily. In other words, it was now possible for me to stop Rinna. As I realized all my classmates' fates rested on my shoulders, I felt sweat form on my face. The memo continued. The spray is just for self-defense purposes. Pepper spray only impairs eyesight, and while it makes your enemy powerless due to extreme pain and coughing for at least 30 minutes, it's not powerful enough to render them unconscious. You should also add in enclosed spaces, it's pretty easy to get some of that in your own face. Therefore, please don't forget that there's a possibility that your enemy may fight back desperately in panic. This spray is your last resort. Please don't depend on it, but if you need to, make sure to use it. Oishi. Was he telling me to use it or not? It was probably one of those grown-up issues. If the cops entrusted me solely with the fate of the hostages and I failed, they'd be held liable. So while he gave me a weapon, he made me consider its use. I hid the bug and spray in my pockets and went back to the classroom. I felt a little dizzy, maybe because I was nervous. It was simp or I was simply following Rinna's orders because I had no other choice. That was why I wasn't scared. But things were different from before. I had a weapon. I was in a far better position, but my heart was pounding. Humans are so strange. Dang it, what am I going to do? What should I do, Keiichi Maipara? Did I want to fight with Rinna? The memo said the spray only reaches as far as one meter. One meter? That was basically a hand-to-hand -hand battle. That meant I only had one opportunity. I didn't have a second chance. The memo also said I need to aim for her face. That wasn't going to be easy. Besides, Rinna was cautious. How could I stand directly in front of her within one meter? But that's what I would have to do if I had any chance of winning. Rinna would do anything to reach her goal. She wouldn't even hesitate to kill. Just like how I didn't. Of course, things were already extremely serious. An apology definitely wouldn't be enough. But at least there hadn't been any casualties. That you know of. The more time passed, the more irritated Rinna would get. She might demand something again, and she might kill someone that time to show how serious she was. Bad things had already taken place, but a tragedy hadn't occurred yet. But it was almost here. It wasn't very far at all. When I closed my eyes, I could easily picture Rena killing one classmate after another. After I killed Rena and Mion, my room was covered in blood. If she killed 20 people, the classroom would be a pool of it. If that happened, Rinna would... She still wouldn't realize she was being delusional. She would rip out her own throat and die. That would be too big a cross for her to carry. And one day she would remember. And be saddened. She didn't need to go through that. I didn't want Rinna to go through what I had to go through. I felt dizzy. This was a very long hallway. <laughs> Did you get some of that pepper spray on yourself? I didn't know the classroom was so far. With each step I took, my determination to fight Rinna became stronger. Rinna would be shocked to realize I betrayed her. But if she couldn't wake up from the nightmare on her own, someone else would have to wake her up. And her friends needed to be the ones to do that. Oishi-san, 
As soon as I stepped into the classroom, I smelled something. Everyone had moved to one corner of the classroom. The smell reminded me of a gas station. Was it gasoline? I saw a red gasoline container by Rennes B. The cap was open. It was seemingly sturdy and made of metal. It said gasoline on the side, written in felt marker. She must have spread it across the entire classroom. The smell was almost giving me a headache. No, it wasn't just in the classroom. The classmates were soaked in gasoline too. How could she? I see. This was just like a hijacker holding a bomb. If the police were to rush in, she would burn the hostages. I didn't know where she got it, but she had a lighter in her left hand. Rena showed off the lighter. Obviously, she was trying to threaten me. I've heard about people committing suicide by setting themselves on fire. They pour gasoline on themselves and light it ablaze. You might think that if it was extinguished right away, it wouldn't be that bad. But human skin is supposedly very delicate. And they say that even if 30% of a person's skin gets burned, it's enough to be fatal. If it was your entire body, it would result in death for sure. I had been put in a disadvantage, disadvantageous position. My weapon might take her into sight, but I couldn't stop her from using the lighter. She'd probably use it the moment she's attacked. I don't know if she realized it, but the kind of lighter she had would keep burning until the lid was closed. Therefore, all she'd have to do is light it and drop it onto the floor. In other words, my spray can wouldn't make Rinna powerless at all. The last resort Oishi San gave me had already lost all its power. Rena was thinking that if she didn't see any progress with the scrapbooks, she'd pressure the police by letting them know about the gasoline. We should all just calm down. Rino was simply telling everyone what she heard from Takano-san. I started mumbling so I could let Oishi-san know what was going on. I was pretending to mumble to myself so I could only say it very quietly. I wished I could say it louder, but that was probably impossible. I wasn't sure if Oishi San could hear me. Hmm. I thought of an idea to find out whether or not they could hear me. Kumagai honked once quickly. ガソリンとは参ったっすね。これでさっきからなんとなく感じてた匂いの正体が分かりました。多分この後の要求を押し通すための切り札にするつもりでしょうね。熊ちゃん、普通の若い子がポリタンクって言い方をしたら18リットル
なるほどね蛍光管にはちゃんとガソリンと明記してあると灯油のポリタンクにも灯油とちゃんと書いてあるはい中身を間違えたら大変ですから全ての燃料容器にはちゃんと明記してあります Not too many people know this but regular portable tanks can't hold gasoline Gasoline, while common, is extremely flammable, and it can be lit even with static electricity. Therefore, gasoline must be kept in special metal containers. Those are called carrying cans. So, Maibara said that gasoline was a mistake. The size of gasoline was a mistake. How many liters of gasoline were there? 18 liters and 5 liters were there. I remember the two different ones. 5リットル用って多分平たい形をしたやつですよねええ真っ赤で平たくてこう取っ手がついています前原圭一はポリタンクという言い方をしましたね18リットルの方でしょうかあるいは見慣れない形だったんでとりあえず適当な言葉が思いつかずポリタンクという言い方をしたのかもしれないでもどのみち Yeah, I was gonna say, does it really matter? It's gasoline, none the same. Gasoline burns when lit. But what's an even bigger threat than liquid gasoline are the fumes. When gasoline fumes are lit on fire, they explode. Also, gasoline evaporates easily, even at freezing temperatures, it evaporates. And so, in other words, inside the closed classrooms, the fumes would fill the entire space. The classroom would then become a bomb itself. They explode! Yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing. 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 あーすいません。署に連絡して、鑑識のじいさまがいるか聞いてみてください。おーおー、話は聞いちゃるぞい。犯人に直接、名指しだそうじゃの。リーチ一発振り込みドカーンってたからじゃの。<笑>今まで乗っちゃって大変なことになってます。そのドカンってのは実に笑えないですな。ところで、すいません。オツヨンかハハハここにいる人間全員足せば講師じゃぞいどうしたガソリンでも巻いて籠城しとるんかうんまさにそのようです人質の一人に盗聴器を持たせてるんですがどうも犯人は教室内にガソリンを撒いたようなんですただ撒いた量が18リットル缶か5リットル缶かは分かりません They explode and everyone dies. I would say honestly, either case. The policeman listening to their conversation on the side went pale. 8x8 meters meant a room that was 64 square meters. Only 4 liters are needed to blow that up, and at least 5 liters were scattered in a 50 square meter room. <laughs> that's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Might just blow up the whole school. <laughs> just blow up the whole school. <laughs> ドラドラに振り込む感じかの
ど,どういう意味ですか親の倍万の2万4千点配給原点が2万5千点だから I feel like you're taking this a little too lightly, Mr. Forensic Investigator. There's like a whole class full of kids that are gonna burn to death. That's not my problem. Good luck over there, Wishy. こいつは盗聴情報なんで消防車を呼び出したらバレちまうななんとか学校から見えないところに待機させましょうそれがいいのあとそれから多いしねえさっき人質の一人と接触できましてねその際にこっそりと盗聴器を持たせましたガソリンサンプはそれで分かったんですよまずいの科学火災の事件Yeah, that could cause that to be a problem too. Well, that's not our fault. We didn't know about that at the time. <laughs> yeah, but if static electricity could cause it, I'm sure there's plenty of clothing and cloth in the room that could cause that anyway. おいさん、盗聴器で聞く限り、犯人はライターを所持している模様です。ってことは、つまり、前原さんがスプレーを使って制止しようとしても、着火までは防げない可能性が大ってわけだ。しかも、盗聴器まで使えなくなるとは。At least you got your baton thing, or unless that was the pepper spray, I'm not sure. Oishi's back was covered in a cold sweat. He never even thought that this would turn into such a serious matter. He didn't know how dangerous gasoline was. He didn't know because he'd never heard of cars exploding in car accidents. He knew it was dangerous, but he didn't know what it was capable of. Gasoline is more dangerous once it evaporates. Therefore, a burning car in an accident and gasoline fumes being ignited are at completely different levels. It's quite simple to understand. If you think about how car engines work, cars vaporize gasoline in the carburetor and let it explode in the engine cylinders. In other words, that little explosion in the engine is what gives cars the power to move. Therefore, if you want more power, an engine needs to be bigger to create a bigger explosion. So, if an engine cylinder was the size of a classroom, how much power would it create? Anyone with knowledge of engines would know. But a lot of people don't consider how dangerous evaporated gasoline is. Because it's too familiar. 25 hostages and one hostage taker. All 26 people were basically stuck in a huge bomb. Furthermore, the suspect might accidentally set it off. If she were to pretend to light the lighter as a threat, that would be the end. All of the people around Oishi had gone pale. The classroom might explode at any moment. How could they save all the hostages? Especially when the criminal was living in her own delusion, and her request were something so unreal. One of the policemen brought over a folded piece of paper. Oishi opened it while the others watched. He saw a girlish handwriting on the paper. He could tell this was written before she invaded the school. Dear Oishi sama, if you're reading this letter, 
That means I'm at the final stage. I must have seized the school and held the students as hostages. I'm planning to appoint you as a negotiator, so please pretend to be threatened by me and become my contact with the outside. The first thing I want to tell you is that my enemy is the Sonozaki family, and also the aliens, who are pretending to be parasites that control the Sonozaki family. I didn't think you'd believe me if I brought up the aliens, so I didn't tell you about them until now. But when you read these scrapbooks, you will understand. The aliens came to Earth in UFOs in ancient times. They landed in Onigafuchi Swamp. They used this village as their breeding grounds. And through that selective breeding, they widened their domain. They were successful and now they're trying to invade the Earth. All the other policemen frowned at the letter. The Sonozaki family, as well as the as all the village authorities, have been brainwashed by the aliens. The villagers' attempts to revive the cult of Oyashirasama were actually part of the alien strategy to invade the Earth. The aliens are very clever. They don't let people realize they're being controlled. The area clinic must be their secret research center. Please conduct an investigation and expose their secret. Also, please check out the bottom of the swamp. The UFO must still be there. Also, capture all the relatives of the three families and take x-rays of their brains. You'll find hideous parasites inside of them. But please be careful. The aliens eliminate whoever finds out about them by replacing their host with a look-alike. That's how they've been controlling the village. Therefore, there may already be some aliens among the villagers. It's possible that they will try to interfere with your investigation. As a matter of fact, there have been two look-alike there have been look-alikes of Mio Takano, Rika Furude, and me, Renariugu. If you see any of those three, capture them immediately. That will be the proof of aliens existing among us. Takano Mio? どうしてでしょうね。ああ、あれだ。俺さ、彼女との電話で隣の県警さんの検視で <laughs> There's somebody in the mirror. One of the policemen spoke up. He was one of the pair who searched the garbage dump that night. ゴムナで目撃されたって話があったでしょ。あれだよ。あれは多分村人の誰かが流した出馬なんだよ。で、それを本人がどこかで聞いて自分がもう一人いるように錯覚した。腐ったれ。ノストラダムスだっけ？あ
これは使えるなですね本気で宇宙人の話を真に受けてるなら解毒剤だといえばうまく騙せるかも But you may not find the antidote or maybe it'll be too late by the time you do Therefore, considering the time I have left, I will set 7 p.m. tonight as the deadline. If an investigation doesn't take place and the antidote doesn't arrive by 7 p.m., I will choose to die with all the hostages by lighting the gasoline instead. Days are long nowadays. It doesn't get dark even in the evenings. It'll probably start to get dark around 7 p.m. それより次の文章んな何 ?I'm planning to spread gasoline throughout the classroom. I'm sure you realize how dangerous that is. If anyone suggests storming into the room, please tell them exactly how bad an idea that would be. Also, the hostages are anchored down with U shaped bike locks. Even if those alien policemen rushed in and killed me, they'd have to cut each lock. But if you tried cutting them, you might create sparks. Therefore, you'd need to completely ventilate the room first. In other words, it'll take an extremely long time to rescue all the hostages from the classroom. Actually, I have a different explosive system set up, other than the gasoline I spread. It's a very simple time bomb using gasoline and a kitchen timer. The kitchen timer provides electricity at a set time. I rip the tip off its plug, so it create enough sparks to ignite the gasoline. I've already set the timer to 7 p.m. Even if I'm not around, there'll be an explosion at that time. If the classroom isn't ventilated by that time, it'll explode too. Well, presumably that would be easy to get rid of, just get the power company to cut power. However, you would need to do that. At the exact same time, because she could still pull out the lighter. You know, the exact time that you storm the room, I guess. Which would be incredibly risky. You wouldn't even need the power company, really. Surely there's like a power box on the outside of the building somewhere, or some kind of substation nearby that you could turn it off with. I'm sorry to ask you this, Wishy Sand, but please help me so we can avoid a tragedy. Please let the three family know, know that me and Sonazaki, the successor to the head of the Sonazaki family, and Rika Furude, a mascot for the cult of Oishirisama, are in this classroom. If anyone from the three families help you, I'm sure their conspiracy will be exposed by tonight. The alien invasion is going to happen very soon. Please get going quickly. To my ally, Oishi san. r e n e r i y u k u Smash! Oishi threw the scrapbooks to the ground. Ah, Mukashi no Sui Hanki to Kanya, Taima na Tsi Tenai Mono Moka Tanisio. So then. コンセント穴のついたキッチンタイマーって名前の目覚まし時計がありましてねそのコンセントに炊飯器を挿しておけば仕掛けた時刻に自動的に電源が供給されて指定時刻に炊飯器が電源オンにできるって知るんですへえそりゃ便利そうですね確かにそれを流用すれば次元発火装置なんて簡単にでっち上げられるキッチンタイマーってあたりが女の子っぽくて、なんだか、ざんざんな。電力会社に頼んで、いや、私が言うと、なお、obviously that would notify you pretty quickly that it happened, so you need to like simultaneously storm the building, but that's still risky。行動式なら、電力がなければ無力化できます。ああ
でもダメか。教室が真っ暗になるのと、yeah, exactly. ライターをつけるに決まってますよね。Honestly, I'd even be worried about the electric lights in the building at this point. This music is like just a hair too loud right now. It's just during that,、uh, that one section, it's really loud. その先ミオンに対してのようです